Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today I want to talk about crushed eggshells. So this is something you're gonna see that I add to my bins all the time. I'm always adding it over the food, I'm always adding it to the bedding, and it's something that's very important for the worms is to have this grit that they need in their gizzards to grind up their food or you know the microbes that they're taking in. It's something that they, they need to do that and you have to add it to your bins. If you're adding food and you've added some soil, you probably have some grit in there. You might've added some crushed rock at some point or something else, but I find that crushed eggshell is a great way to add grit. And there's two reasons for that. One, it's something that I get for free because I have eggshells all around my house from uh, cooking. And two, it's the fact that when I grind them up and add them this, I'm not throwing them away. And really as a third bonus, it's also the fact that it balances the pH. Now, a lot of other things will do that, but it does do that without you having to go out and buy something to do that. There are people that use oyster shells, and if you have them handy, I'd say to use those as well. But this is something that I already have in my house, and I bet most of you probably have as well. So the first question becomes, how do you store them? And this is something that has taken me a while to figure out. I don't just take the eggshells and then throw them in the blender as soon as I'm, I'm done cooking with them and then throw them into my bins. Now I, I have a process in place. The first thing I do is I take any eggshells I use and I throw them in a bag that goes into my freezer. And the reason why I do this is that this way I can process a lot of shells at one time because it takes work to do this and it takes energy and I don't want to waste it on you know, trying to blend them up individually or trying to cook off the possible diseases that could be in the eggs themselves or try to clean them or any of those things. I don't wanna do that individually. I wanna do it as a large group or batch process. And that's gonna make it easier on me, but also less energy intensive in a lot of cases. So the first thing is, is that all of my eggshells, I crack them open, I then throw them right into a bag that goes right into my freezer. And they were sitting there for quite a while, sometimes up to a month or maybe two months, depending on how long it's taking me to go through eggs. And then I start the sterilization process. Now, I don't use the oven myself. I know other people have in the past, and there's a lot of people that say to do that. I just don't do it because that requires me to turn on my oven and then spread them out on a sheet, a baking sheet typically, which I then have to clean, or an aluminum foil, which then, you know, I'm throwing away, so that's sort of wasteful. What I tend to do is I actually will cook pasta, which I make quite frequently, and when I go to dump the water out instead, I'll strain the pasta out, keep the water, and then I'll throw the eggshells in there and boil them for another 10 minutes. And it allows me to save water, but also it allows me to save the, uh, the, the, the heat that's already there. Now you can do that with the oven too. You have the oven on and you're cooking something and then you can throw your eggshells in there. And that does work too. I'm not gonna say it doesn't. I just don't do that because I don't use the oven quite as frequently. And also because of the how many shells that I have, I, I have to move them around and make sure that they all get heated. Whereas throwing them in boiling hot water, they're all gonna get heated pretty readily no matter how they're stuffed together. The problem with the boiling water, I will say though, is you get moisture. And that requires me to strain them out then and then to clean the strainer. But it's a for me, that's not that big of a deal. I'm, I'm quite used to that. And then I also leave them down in my basement to dry. Not everyone can do that, but I can. So I do do that. So, you know, as I said, they go from freezer to pot of boiling water to my basement. And that's where they sit and they do their final drying before I grind them up. Now, for grinding, I actually have one in my hand here. You want to make sure you wear a mask. Now this is an N95 mask. I do recommend having a decent one, not the cheapest one you can find. You want something that's gonna fit well and make sure that this dust does not get into your lungs. So I wear this N95 when I'm doing this. I grind them up using this uh, magic bullet blender that I have, and it doesn't take long to do it. Um, you can also use a spice or coffee grinder uh, and some other different, or you can use a big blender if you want. I prefer the little one because I'd rather do small batches than uh, scratch up my big blender that I use for cooking and everything. So this is a, an old blender, blender that I had sitting around, and I added that to my process instead of throwing it away. So, you know, it's just, it's a matter of what you want to do. now. Another option is, and I've never tried this myself, but other people have mixed water and the eggshells in a blender and blended it up that way and then strained it out. And that is an option, you can do that. I, I don't because that takes, I think, a little bit more effort to dry out the, the shells and I don't know if it's gonna grind it up quite as much. And as I said, I don't really wanna use my good blender. Um, this eggshells are very abrasive. They're almost like sandpaper. And if you're using something that's plastic, 
they're probably gonna rip it apart. If you're using glass, it could scratch the glass. I don't know, that's that's a little iffy, maybe probably not, but I just, I, I have a plastic blender that I have, you know, it's the Triton plastic that's supposed to be BPA free and everything. I found it to work really well. I just don't wanna take a chance of ruining, you know, a hundred dollar blender. So, but that's how I process my eggshells. The last part is saving them. And that's where I have a container that I put all these crushed and ground up eggshells into. And the reason why I keep them in one container is that way I can take off portions of them to add to my bins. But I have a large container that I just continually add to so that way this batch process works. So that's my steps. So it goes from using the eggs, putting the shells in the freezer, to then sterilizing them with boiling water in the oven, to then drying them out and letting them sit for a little bit and make sure that they're cool, to blending them, to then storing them again in crushed format. And that's what you see me use in my videos when you see me go through eggshells. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a lot. If you have questions, please let me know. And again, this is really important for your worms to have this type of grit in there. And if you're planning to add lemons, limes, or oranges, it's a necessity, I find. Because without this pH balancer, something that the, egg, the acidity of those fruits can dig into, it, your worms are not going to be able to, to take care of these fruits, these fruits very well. So I hope you enjoyed. And again, if you have questions, please leave a comment down below. And thank you for watching.